ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. You've just watched my previous video to all black Americans and to all American citizens. And this message is about the switching over from the power base from white to black. <clears throat> but while white used it to dominate, blacks are going to use it for all of us as it should have been and should always be. So all of you brothers and sisters out there, I want you to get it together. I know you might have, some of you got some stuff in your head, but clear it out. Clear it out. We've got to set the example. You know every time a crime occurs, and we hear about it, the first thing we say to ourselves, we hope it's not black. Because we don't like that ugliness. We find ourselves caught up in it sometimes. Well, we don't have to worry about that in the future. We're going to go forward because not only are we going to protect ourselves, white people are going to protect themselves. And the way that they're going to protect themselves is by each of us protecting one another. And white folks, you've had a long reign. And I can't take anything from you. And I know you're scared. You're scared about what black people are going to do. But I promise you this. We know the difference between good and evil. We know that there is a God, and whether we had look at us sometime and think the way people act, there can't be no God close to them. But we recognize that every person alive has the Spirit of God in them. And we've always said that on a level playing field, a level playing field, but it's wonderful to have a level playing field, but a wonderful plan wherever you are, in a valley or on a hill. You can work it out because we're doing it together. And we have such a wonderful plan. And since I have mentioned these things to you, what the next step is for you to do, you have not been familiar with this plan. You have not even been familiar with this effort. Now that you are, I want you to contemplate it. I want you to think about it. I want it to become a part of you. It already is. I just want you to uncover, to discover that it is. And having done that, I want you to share, talk with people, talk with people about peace, talk with people about how wonderful it is to not worry about war and crime and violence. Talk to them about how wonderful it is to not have to worry about welfare and people not stealing and killing. Talk to them about being happy in life. Talk to them about a time that's about to change where we can have these things. It's an idea, my friends, that's empowered not by me, alone, but by each of us. In this vision, each of us, black, white, men, women, haters, and lovers, all together, coming together for one common cause, and that's for our dreams to come true, utilizing one another so it won't be so complicated. And each of us is going to take a career of our own choosing, and those careers are going to be wrapped around the manifestation and that process of creating those goods and services that we so want, need, and desire. And all of the dreamers out there who got other plans to take them places higher than that, to lift us up beyond the level of where we're at today, it's all about love. We will not no longer tolerate anything that divides us. If we are not divided, we'll always be good. We will not be divided again. And I welcome all people in the United States of America into this vision. But I promise you, it will go no place no place without you. I don't care how wonderful it is. So you are absolutely important and needed. Get busy. Bye-bye.